Have you ever wondered how you can travel to the States without leaving London? I found the most authentic American yeah, experience yeah, yeah, to yeah, cross the yeah, Atlantic. Yeah. We've all seen the promotional events where American chains create a pop-up restaurant in a British city. Or I remember going to Central Perk from Friends in London. There's a lot of queuing, you get 20 minutes of fun, and then you're back in normality again. One experience which is as real as it gets outside of the States is the NFL London Games. Their regular season clashes and every point matters. They've been coming to the UK every year since 2007 and every team has made the trip here except one. That's changing this weekend when the Packers come to town. I'm here for the Packers-Giants game, and you're coming with me. Now, most of you know I'm a TV journalist and sports reporter as my day job, so I'm really looking forward to this one. Those of you with eagle eyes will have spotted some team badges on some of our clothes. We're Spurs fans, and most of the London games are at my club stadium in Tottenham, it's the only venue in the UK that has an NFL field hiding under the grass. It takes just 25 minutes to convert it from a Premier League game to an American football venue. Not only does the sunken field offer a familiar backdrop, but the whole East Stand has permanent NFL locker rooms, while the West Stand is always Spurs. Now this is a crazy weekend of sport for me. On Friday we watched England's women beat the USA at Wembley. Ali was a proud American and we thought they were going to win with Megan Rapinoe playing. But I got the last laugh in the end. Green Bay Tourist Board wanted to show us what it's like to go to a Packers game, to give you a flavour of what it might be like if you fly to Wisconsin and watch them live, as they're a team with real history. Lambeau is a special place uh, in all of the NFL. A lot of people call it the shrine of the NFL. It's the longest continuously used stadium in the NFL, but we've invested hundreds of millions uh, keeping it as modern as we can. The original bowl is still there uh, from 1957, and the team actually started in 1919. So it's one of the oldest teams uh, in the NFL. It's actually older than the NFL. It's a really great mix of history, culture, but modern amenities. Around town, you're gonna get uh, you know, our unique culinary traditions, you're gonna get our brewing history, you're gonna get fun attractions and things to do. So, you know, if you're coming up for a game, I would recommend, you know, doing a, a longer trip so you can take everything in. Green Bay is a great city. There's uh, a lot of water-related activities. We're right on Lake Michigan, the Bay of Green Bay. So we love the outdoors. A lot of great things to see and do when you come into Green Bay, as well as Packer football at Lambeau Field. Now, a big part of American football culture is tailgating, which you may have heard of but didn't know what it was. Well, in the US, stadiums are out of town and most people have to drive. There aren't any bars or pubs in the huge car parks, so people make their own parties from the back of their vans. Well, I mean, a tailgate is basically eating and drinking and enjoying company, right? You get music, you get uh, burgers, brats, beer. When you're in Green Bay, when you come to Green Bay, you can just walk around and people will invite you in for a beer. Hey, have a beer, have a brat, that sort of thing. Nice. Yeah, and now you see it done out of ambulances that have been converted, <laughs> fire trucks, buses, cars, hatchbacks, the whole nine. <laughs> The one time we've been to tailgating before was in um, in San Diego, and literally they had 40-inch TV screens, yep. streaming it all in, yeah. their trucks, barbecues, everything. It's yeah. something special. It's, it's something we don't have in the UK at all. Yeah. And actually, you don't even need to go to the game sometimes. No. You just enjoy that. No, sometimes you, I've done this a lot, where you just go 
to the tailgate, walk around, enjoy the stadium, enjoy the fun, enjoy the fandom, and then you go to a, then you go to a sports bar down the road and watch the game. At Spurs, there was a similar atmosphere on the high road. Fans were eating food and getting ready for the game, and they were all excited to travel to London. So why did you come out here today? Uh, we came for our honeymoon. So oh, we got married last week at Lambo and wanted to continue it on and yeah. watch the game. Yeah. What do you think about the atmosphere? Does it feel like a home game? Does it oh, feel like a, a, a real game? game? It's yeah. a home game, yeah. real game, and it's even more exciting. If that's even possible. It's just <laughs> awesome. awesome. It's weird. I thought there'd be a lot of English people here coming to watch and get the experience of it. But there's so many of you guys that have come over to watch it, which is great. <laughs> Had to. Had to. I mean, why? <laughs> oh, just the experience to be over here, visit relatives in London. Yeah, it was perfect timing. Beautiful. Uh, yeah. What do you guys think about having an international game? Is it something that's an inconvenience or annoying, or do you actually kind of like the idea it's something different? No, I, I think it's cool. I, I think it's cool. I know it's tougher to, uh, they're trying to um, get the sport out here more, and I think just getting more and more games. I know they have one in Germany now as well, so I think it's really cool. As I was with the Green Bay crew, I got to go to the VIP tailgate, which was inside, but still had the same food, drinks and game day vibe. Tell me a bit about what it's like so far. How does this compare to a normal game for you? Oh, this is uh, right up there with an experience at Lambeau Field. We got fans out here everywhere. We've got, you know, food, we've got beer. The, the energy is great. Uh, it feels like, feels like Lambeau across the pond. Nice. Now the weird thing is, I've been around American culture for quite a time now and I still <laughs> haven't got a team. Well, you got a scarf. I've got a scarf. You got the scarf. Now, it's official. Why should I? Now, this is my actual team, Spurs, which are Same. perennial. Yes. <laughs> yeah, it goes first. <laughs> <laughs> now, why should I? Spurs are one of the perennial kind of almost guys. Yeah. Why should I go for the Packers? Because they win. I'm not used to winning. Well, here's here's what I'm going to tell you. It's the only story in sports where the, the team is owned by the fans. We don't have a billionaire owner controlling everything yeah. and looking at the at the uh, you know the 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 accounting books and making sure that that's where they're winning and not on the field. It's a fan controlled team. It's the oldest team in the NFL. It's been there longer than the NFL. 13 time world champions, the best fans in the world and in the best city in the Midwest of the United States. I think I found my team guys. <laughs> go Pack Go! Go Pack Go! Wow, now I have a team. I guess it's time to go inside the stadium. The first thing that struck me was that there was so much green and gold around in the bar areas and getting in. It quickly didn't feel like a Tottenham game and I felt like I was in the States. Especially with all the announcements with the perfect American accent. Tackle Hotspur Stadium, please welcome you to the different about being here on a match day for NFL is definitely being able to have a drink at your seat. I'm looking forward to that. I know Packers fans were worried about losing a home game at Lambeau, but you could really feel the home support here, especially when Aaron Rodgers, the first MVP to play in London for nearly a decade, took to the field. You don't hear the USA national anthem much over here, so that always feels special. And we were ready to play after God Save the King. Quickly, it was game time. The Packers made easy work of it. First down, Packers. Two touchdowns gave them a comfortable 20 points to 10 lead at half time. The Giants then seemed to get stronger and stronger. Their fans also got louder and louder, especially the guys in front of us when they took the lead with just six minutes to go. At over 61,000, this was a record NFL attendance at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium, and Packers fans were all hoping for some Rogers magic. But it didn't arrive. The Giants defended well and saw out their win. Well, that wasn't how it was supposed to end, was it? <laughs> what a cool experience. Now, the weird thing is that this is my home ground. This is where I watch my football. And today, it really does feel like it's someone else's stadium because there's so much green and gold everywhere. 
and they've taken it over, which is really weird to think and really weird to feel. But the cool thing is, if this is how good it is here, I'm looking forward to seeing what it's like in Green Bay. Go Pack Go! We don't just do NFL London reviews, I promise. We're an Anglo-American family. Ali's from California and I'm from England. We have three kids who each have two passports and we have one goal. Showing how you can have bucket list experiences as a family. Maybe we can all get to live the life of Riley. Check out our back catalogue and pick a video.